Okay, so here's another uh, multivariable calculus limit problem. We have the limit as xy goes to 0, 0 of the function absolute value x over the square root of x squared plus y squared. Okay, again, we want to figure out if this limit exists, what is it? And if it doesn't exist, why doesn't it exist? Usually, if a limit does not exist, it means we can approach from two different paths along the xy plane and get two different limits which is the multivariable equivalent of approaching from the left and approaching from the right in single variable calc and getting different limits. So first of all, let's just plot this thing, uh, get a qualitative idea of what it looks like, and then see if we can apply that to uh, the calculus and get an answer. So we type in ABS X, that's the code for absolute value of X, over the square root of X squared plus Y squared Make sure I have all my parentheses. And then I will click plot. And there we have our function. Again, it looks very similar to the first example. I'm going to use the same trick of projecting into the, the zx and the zy plane. It looks like um, I can let my f of xy, which is the z values, go from 0 to, I don't know, 2. So I'll click show options. I'll make this go from 0 to 2. And I will click plot. Actually, it looks like I can make it go from 0 to 1. That'll get me a better view of the, the graph. So I can click plot. There it is. I've got a better idea of what's happening. Now again, the x's and the y's are all going from negative 10 to 10 and negative 10 to 10. So let's change those from negative 1 to 1 and from negative 1 to 1. Again, so we can zoom in. And it looks pretty much the same. Let's go to the advanced options make our mesh level equal to 50 so we can get a finer graph and then let's highlight the difference in height by just adjusting the hue values so again it looks like a limit does not exist for this function hide these options looks like a limit does not exist looks like as we approach from different paths we're going to get different answers fortunately this one's a little bit easier to see look at the xy plane down here if I approach from the line x equals 0, it looks like my z value stays fixed at 0. And if I approach from what appears to be um, y equals 0, it looks like my z value stays fixed at 1. Okay, and I can get that by kind of rotating and zooming and seeing that this is the line uh, y equals 0. So let's try that. Let's see if that's uh, what actually happens. So we'll do, we'll let x equals 0 and that will give us the limit as 0 y goes to 0 0 I will plug in uh, 0 for x so I'll get the absolute value of 0 over the square root 0 squared plus y which gives us obviously 0 over anything y squared uh, gives us 0 so if we approach from x equals 0 the limit does indeed turn out to be 0 now let y equal 0, and now we'll have the limit as x 0 goes to 0, 0. And we will have the absolute value of x over the square root of x squared plus 0 squared. This is the limit. Do a little copy paste here. This is the limit of absolute value x over absolute value x, which is just 1, as we found in our plot. So that means that this limit does not exist. We approach from different paths. x equals 0 gives us the limit of 0. y equals 0 gives us the limit of 1. All paths have to equal the same limit, and we're done. I hope you found this helpful and we'll do another example in the next video.